This is the Deep Tunnel Sewerage System Project, or DTSS, and it's part of the city's underground master plan. These tunnels are specifically designed to help conserve another precious resource, water. Right now, we're deep underground, about 60 meters underground. We're inside the tunnel boring machine. What sets the project apart is the depth. It's more than 60 meters underground. Once it's complete in 2026, the project should free up roughly 150 hectares of land above ground. One thing you can learn when you're building underground is, of course, that there are lots of uncertainties and you can never be sure of what you're going to encounter. And all the people involved, all the stakeholders, right down to the tunnel boring machine operator, needs to be on their toes to respond to changing conditions. So that can definitely be a lesson that you can bring upwards when you're building on the surface. It's not the only subterranean action down here. Singapore's Land Authority has been working on a digital twin since 2014 and recently extended that project to include underground space. Meanwhile, five massive caverns are also being used to store liquid hydrocarbons, such as crude oil. Run by JTC, a government agency responsible for industrial development, they are known as the Jurong Rock Caverns and hold the equivalent of 600 Olympic-sized swimming pools, all to free up precious land above. 